to me and to turn around and abuse my mother. I didn't want any part of that kind of Christianity. So when I was 16, I left and I started living on the streets. Sorry to hear that, Jamar. You know, being a Christian doesn't make you perfect. It just makes you forgiven. When you decide to commit your life to Jesus, then you have the strength and you won't have to do it alone. That's right. Nino is absolutely right, guys. You know, when we decide to repent, which means to turn from our will to obey God's will, He'll give you new desires in your heart to serve Him and to, to stop sinning. And if your heart is right with God, you actually start to hate sin. You don't want to smoke no more. You don't want to curse anymore. You don't want to fornicate anymore. You'll have new desires in your heart. You'll desire to live a holy and pleasing life unto God. Amen. But, rem but remember, be 100% sincere. Okay. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can't just give Him part of your life. You must give your all. So... How exactly do you get saved? That's the best question you could have asked tonight, my friend. See, like I said earlier, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord, your voice, and believe in your heart 100% that God has raised Him from the dead, then you shall be saved. And that can be done with just a simple prayer. Would you guys like us to pray with you now? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I'd like that. There is freedom. Let's pray. You guys just repeat after me and just mean it in your heart. Okay? Say, God, I, I know I've sinned against you. God, I know I've sinned against you. God, I have sinned against you. Please forgive me of my sins. Please forgive me, Lord. I turn from my sins and I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord. I turn from my sins and I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord. Come into my heart and save me from my sins. Come into my heart and save me from my sins. Please save me, Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and let me never be the same. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and never be the same. Help me to live for you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, name I pray, amen. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Congratulations, praise God, my brothers. On the authority of God's word, if you just prayed that prayer sincerely, You've been born again, and now saved, and you're in the family of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm very proud of you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, man. I really needed that. <laughs> Alicia, do you have something to tell us? Yeah. 
I accepted Christ too. Hallelujah! Everybody's taking victory. Now I just gotta get you guys water baptized. Yes, that is a type and shadow of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus commands us to baptize you after becoming his disciple. Me too. Oh, Amen. We're gonna get baptized. Well, it really doesn't matter, but how about this Sunday at our church? Sounds good to me. Praise God. Congratulations, Hey, Pop. This, this is Jamal. Did you say Jamal? Hey, I just uh, want to tell you um, I'm sorry about running out on you and Mom. This is really Jamal? Yeah, yeah, it's Jamal. I received Christ today. He's my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah! Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Satan, you will not have control over me. I resist you in Jesus' name. Victory! Hey! <laughs> It's the way you're great in mercy